Greetings trophy troopers. Yes, trophy troopers. That's what I call all my friends out there who are passionate about trophies. And if you're watching this video, that is probably you. Now we got the Road to Platinum series is returning here with Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. Now this series, I don't tell you how to get a specific trophy. Instead, I lay out a, a roadmap, if you will, of how you should go about getting the uh, platinum trophy. Just kind of give you the steps to help you organize your uh, trophy run. Now, this game uh, uh, really allows you to go about the trophies in whichever order you want, but I'm just gonna kind of spell it out how I did it uh, step by step. And also, as a quick note, I do have a video playlist, I'll put a link in the description, as well as an annotation above of every single trophy in this game. And I also put a note on which step uh, in this guide that the uh, trophy guide would uh, apply to. So go ahead and check that out, and it'll ha have everything there that you need. Now this game is probably, I'd say, eight hours to platinum and approximately a two out of 10 difficulty. So it's not too difficult as long as, of course, you're following a guide. So let's go ahead and jump into step one. Step one is going to uh, go after the radio enthusiast trophy. That is for finding all 24 radios without doing anything else. So make sure you watch that video because I spell out in, in clear detail on what you can and more specifically what you can't do. Now step two is the open-ended trophy. Once you've uh, found all the radios, uh, you're gonna be up in Little Tipworth, the northern part of the map, and this is a really good time to go ahead and get the open-ended trophy. That is for completing all of Steven's story arc. Now there's four uh, main story orbs that you have to interact with using your motion controller. The first one is over uh, as you enter the town, the house under construction on the left. The second one is up by the tra in the train station. Third one is across from Holly's Cafe in the Wholesaler's Warehouse. And then the fourth one is going to be uh, right by the substation near the bunker. Once you enter the bunker, provided you haven't done any other story arc, which you wouldn't have if you did the radio thing first, once you enter that bunker, you're going to earn that trophy. Go ahead and complete the game. And then we're going to start step three. So go ahead and start a new game at this point. Now at this point, there's also a bunch of uh, miscellaneous trophies. So this is a good time to kind of start looking at that and going about uh, getting those as well. Now step three is going to be finding all of the collectibles. Now the collectibles are gonna include the graffiti chads, uh, the microwaves, uh, the bibliophile trophy, which is for reading all the bird books. And then the next one is, or the last one is for uh, finding all of the You Are Here maps. Now you can try to do all of those in a single game. What I did instead was I did a new game, found all the maps, and then I started a new game again and did all of the bird books. I did them in separate uh, uh, playthroughs. It helped my, uh, you know, my brain kind of wrap around exactly what I needed to do. Uh, now, as far as the graffiti in the uh, microwaves, you can mix those in with either of the other two, or you can do a separate new game uh, for those. A new game doesn't take very long. You can get from the start to the end in, in 20 minutes. So again, go ahead and do those, and you, at this point, you can start really working on the miscellaneous trophies. Now, step four, the final step, is going to be the completionist trophy. That is for triggering all of the story. I do have a, a guide on my channel, it's a 25 minute video of everything you need to do. What you don't need to do is look at the bird books, you don't need to do uh, interact with the microwaves, you don't have to find the UR here maps, and uh, you don't have to get the graffiti as well. So you can, don't have to worry about any of those, you will have to get the radios again. Uh, in addition to finding the radios, you're going to have to interact with all of the story elements, the, the, the interactive ones where you have to use your motion controller, and the proximity events, the ones that trigger when you're within a certain range of it. Uh, you're also going to have to answer all the phones, the ringing phones and non-ringing phones, as well as doing uh, turning on all the TVs and computer monitors. So there's a lot you have to do, and in that video I really quickly kind of speed run through the game uh, showing you what you need to do. So once you've uh, done all of that, oh and by the way there is uh, a little leniency with the completionist. You are allowed to miss one of the uh, of the optional, I guess if you want to call it proximity events. I missed one in the video so if you want to find that one it was up by the train station on top of the bridge that goes over the, the train. So if you, uh, you can miss one 
Uh, I know several people missed one and they still got the trophy. But either way, you can follow that guide. As long as you do everything there, you will get the uh, completionist trophy. At that point, all you should have left is, is possibly some miscellaneous trophies. Uh, there's going to be a wrong number uh, for spending time waiting for a call. And there's going to also be the perpetual motion that you get in the park in uh, Yachton of walking backwards for 50 seconds. And then there's a uh, passive observer for doing nothing for 10 minutes. Make sure you put your controller down on a flat surface. Don't move it. Uh, people have reported that one is kind of glitched on them. Uh, they fixed it by restarting their PS4 and start it or starting a new game. Uh, you also have to get uh, wait for a pint at the Stars and Whistler, uh, the Hypochondriac Trophy, uh, which is also in Yachton. Uh, train Spotter for noting all the train numbers. Tea Leaf for trying to break into all the caravans in the holiday camp. And then the Howard's Train, um, that's for spending uh, time with Howard's Train. It's in Howard's house up in Little Tipworth. And then finally, the last miscellaneous trophy, and this one kind of causes some issue for people, is the Backtracker Trophy. That's uh, required, uh, you get for finding all the shortcut paths. There's five gates you have to go through. The problem that a lot of people have with this, and it's kind of glitched, is it's not popping. So one recommendation that I uh, mentioned in my video is I started a new game just for Backtracker, took the road all the way up to Little Tipworth, and then went straight to all five of the uh, Backtracker shortcut path locations. So of course, check out the guide for that. And that's it. At that point, you should have the Platinum Trophy. Again, go visit my video playlist where I do have a breakdown of all of these. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So until next time, happy trophy hunting.